right, now we're going to review human reproduction. Most importantly, we're gonna focus on the female reproductive system. Men make sperm in the testes by meiosis and then ejaculate the sperm. That's pretty much the essence of what you need to know about men. Also, the testes make testosterone. But it's what happens in the women that is more complex and that you need to follow much more closely. So we're gonna start by looking at the reproductive system of a woman, uh, this particular woman happens to be pregnant, um, and go over all the parts, that all the different functions of the different parts. So let's start with meiosis. Meiosis makes eggs, makes sperm in men and testes, but it makes eggs in women in the ovaries. That's right here, this is the ovary. So the ovary does meiosis, cuts the chromosome number in half, making an egg. That egg is released into this structure right here. Some of you know it as the fallopian tube. We call it in biology the oviduct or egg tube. It's released there. If there's intercourse, the sperm swim up and join the egg here in the oviduct. Fertilization happens here. Now keep in mind, the egg is monoploid and the sperm is monoploid. And when they fuse, you get a diploid baby. At that moment, a zygote exists. That zygote will divide by mitosis as it travels down the oviduct into this organ right here, the uterus. Um, and the cells, of course, are made by mitosis so it can grow, because remember, mitosis is for asexual reproduction, growth, and repair. So in this case, growth, it's growing by mitosis. That means all the cells in the baby are identical to each other, but they don't all act identically because they differentiate. So in the uterus, in this organ right here, we have both mitosis for growth and differentiation occurring where it makes those cells into different tissues. Um, the baby will develop there by mitosis and differentiation for nine months. Um, it will grow a placenta, this number right here, number six, which is a collection of mom's blood vessels and baby's blood vessels. Mom's blood vessels carry in oxygen and nutrients that mom has brought into her body and they diffuse into baby's blood and then travel around and go to baby's cells so the baby has nutrients and oxygen for respiration and for growth. Baby makes wastes, those go back out, cross across the placenta from mom's blood to baby's blood and back out. After the nine months, the baby is delivered out of the vagina. And so that's a very quick review. Um, let's see how we do with um, filling in the blanks. Meiosis occurs in the what? So in women and men, it occurs in the ovaries and the testes. Um, so that's where meiosis happens to make egg and sperm. Egg and sperm are the gametes with half the chromosomes. Um, the sperm enter the woman's body and fuse with the egg here, oops, in the oviduct. And when you have a sperm and an egg fuse in the oviduct, you make a zygote. Now remember, sperm, that gamete is monoploid. Egg, that gamete is monoploid. When they fuse by fertilization, you get a zygote that is diploid. So we're back to diploid. And that zygote is going to grow. And remember, the cell division we use for growth is mitosis. So the zygote divides by mitosis and will develop into an embryo. That embryo travels down the, the oviduct um, and implants uh, in the uterus. That's where the baby will grow um, by mitosis and differentiation. The baby would suffocate if it weren't for having um, oxygen from mom, would starve without nutrients from mom. And those nutrients and oxygen are able to pass from mom to the baby through the placenta. That's a collection of blood vessels made up of mom's blood vessels and babies. And they allow nutrients and oxygen to diffuse from baby's blood into mom's and waste to diffuse out. Remember diffusion is passive transport where there's a high concentration to a low. So mom breathes in, there's a lot of oxygen in her blood. It can diffuse into babies. All right. Um, the other thing that happens uh, that you should know about is that hormones, estrogen and progesterone in women and testosterone in men are made in the gonads. So the ovaries don't just make eggs by meiosis. They also make estrogen and progesterone. 
the testes don't just make sperm by meiosis, they also make testosterone that controls um, reproduction. And remember, really critical to a lot of the questions that we see, mothers and baby's blood do not mix. And that's an overview or a review of human reproduction.